Welcome to African Christian Authors Book Award um, by CLC Kenya. Today we are reviewing the book A Season to Grow by Lucy Ann Wawero. There you go, A Season to Grow by uh, Lucy Ann Wawero. The book was submitted in Akaba 2022, that's African Christian Authors Book Award 2022. Um, let's start by looking at... Um, the book summary, this can be easily accessed from the public e-commerce platforms, uh, including kenyaclc.org, africanauthors.net, Jumia Kenya, Nuria Bookshop, African uh, Book Hub. Uh, we have the Writers Guild, Kamela Bookshop, and also on Amazon. A Season to Grow and its sequel, Questions that Adolescents uh, Ask, and edited, we'll be looking at that on a different um, review. They seek the both books as both books seek to answer questions that preteens and tre uh, teens uh, grapple with. Uh, growing up, especially during the preteen period, is fraught with anxiety, challenges, and even outright danger. This book, A Season to Grow, uh, is intended to help preteen navigate this process safely and soberly. Also, Awesome. Awesome. Um, so in 2022, we had 20 judges, some of whom were able to go through the book. Um, we will be able to look at some of that feedback from the judges. Awesome. So book cover and the pictures are splashed ac across the chapters and pages of this book make it very age friendly uh, to preteens um, and we'll be looking inside the book in a short while. Uh, the pictures alongside text emphasize the points made. Uh, the book is simple without being simplistic. Another judge says that um, the book is practical and applicable, realistic and target focused. Um, another giant says that it's an easy to read, especially for preteens. Uh, the book is very topical and meets a need that has existed in every generation. Introducing sexuality to young people without overexposing them to unnecessary intonation. The uh, book is a great uh, piece of work. All right. So those are some of the feedbacks um, that we received from the judges who were able to go uh, through the book. Allow me uh, to uh, give you a peek inside the book so that you can know what to expect when you actually get to purchase the book. All right, so here we are. The book is A Season uh, to Grow. Uh, Lucy Ann Wawera, she has done a similar book, which we'll be reviewing um, at a different time. Um, let's look at this book is endorsed actually by one parent and um, by also, you know, children. I wanted to maybe use this one to be able to read some of the endorsement. Um, there is a mother to eight-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. Uh, the mother is called Winnie Gemma. And she says, I love the book, especially the first chapter, since it is age relevant for my child. It's a resource that has opened my understanding as well. There is um, a, another review from 11 years old, Debbie Kairu. Um, a Season to Grow is an amazing book. It helps me understand what I'm going through as an 11 year old. That is really amazing. We also have another review by Isaac Mwangi, 16 year old a high schooler. You can see that the book can also be used uh, by teenagers. Uh, I want to thank the writer of the book very much. It is highly educative so far as life questions are concerned. And then another uh, endorsement uh, from Adrian, 11 years old. Help, uh, reading this book has helped me learn a lot about myself and the changes to expect during puberty. I mean, that's really, really amazing uh, that this book, we can be able to get feedback from, you know, children, the consumers, the target audience that Lucy Ann expected um, to reach. Then we have a dedication and dedicated to all the young people who are struggling to live uh, this life. Um, so feel that you're included here. We have the table of content for you to be able to know what to expect. Chapter one has who am I 
um, then what is happening to me? Why do I feel moody and emotional? Why am I impulsive? Challenges with relationships uh, and uh, friendship. So that's what you will get uh, from this particular book when you get to read it. And then we have a forward from Anne Botella, a very, very um, good endorsement and uh, information there for you to be able to see what is um, included in the book. Let's get on right to chapter one. Lucian starts with very foundational uh, truths. Who am I? I mean, if a teenage, if a preteen can be able to answer the question of um, identity, then that child will start on a very a good path. And uh, Lucian does a good job uh, to be able to, you know, um, emphasize that the identity of each and every child is actually found in God um, and she quotes there Psalms 139 verse 13 to 16 and we have that uh, you created every part of me you put me together in my mother's womb and the scripture continues so identity is the very first um thing that this book or first topic that this book uh tackles which is very very foundational and very very important everything else we can be able to sort it out if we are grounded and we are clear on our, our identity. Another topic is uh, what is happening to me. And, you know, Lucy Ann um, lets a child know that it's okay. What is happening to you is actually normal. It is okay. There's nothing shameful uh, in your body changing. In It's growing. It's actually healthy that, you know, your body is growing. And so here you can see in page 12, she tackles the physical changes in girls. The research is very well done. In this book, it's not too much. It is not too little. It is just right uh, information to be able to give a child. And then we have, um, you know, changes. Let's see. Uh, talks about menstrual uh, problems, um, empowers uh, children, girl child with um, personal hygiene, sanitary towels, and let's see, tampons and tampons there. Uh, so very practical for a child to be able to know what to expect, stay clean by bathing and changing the pants, um, how to wear a pad. I mean, this is very good education or information uh, for our girls, even as they are moving from being children uh, to being uh, teenagers. And then she also has information or education for boys as well. And it talks about the physical changes in a boy's uh, body. Um, Lucian is very content and what she's talking about here is actually very, very relevant. Um, great truths uh, for the adolescents or the preteens as they prepare. All right. Um, then we get to why do I feel moody? And um, she emphasizes on self-acceptance, uh, which is important so that a child doesn't think that they are really going through this. They are the only ones going through this. Um, it's a phase. It comes to end. And if a child is empowered to be able to tackle this change, then they will have a smoother time um, going through the uh, puberty or adolescent stage and then i like uh, the emphasis here on page 35 34 35 where lucy is talking about uh, the need for children to get enough sleep and rest uh, for teenagers um you know preteens uh, teenagers as you get into teenagehood so that a child is uh, energized and you know fresh enough to be able to tackle the different um uh, tasks and even just be able to manage their body and then we have um uh, dangers of drinking alcohol um so there are many other topics that uh lucian has dealt with and just looking at the ones that um i would want to highlight and then there's this chapter on relationships which is very important um and uh, children nowadays um you know aware of you know their sexuality and the need for relationship from a way earlier age than you know my time i'm, I'm very old <laughs> i'm old and i like um lucy ann defines what relationship is what relationship is not and what young children should be able to expect even as they get into teenagehood 
and she emphasizes that uh, teaching about or learning about how to relate because human beings are relational um, beings and it starts at home. So I really like that about the book um, that it can be emphasized um, from home. And then uh, she talks about a relationship with, teen, uh, with teachers. Let's see. Then we have relationship with authorities um, so that we have responsible uh, young people. And then she talks about uh, friendship um, in that uh, following relationship. And then what uh, really um, is really good is that even from preteen stage, uh, Lucian is already talking to young boys and girls about boy and girl relationships. Um, I know nowadays kids are starting way too early and Lucian is able to even empower you as a parent, as a teacher, to be able to know how to tackle this when it comes up. And then she talks about the challenges of boy-girl relationship and steers the children in the right direction. Um, I like on page 105, that uh, Lucy Ann defines some confusing ones. Um, I liked this, you know, definition of what is a crush, what is infatuation, what is lust, and what is love. Because sometimes when, you know, the Bible says, uh, my people uh, perish for lack of knowledge. And so you can be able to see that so many young people, uh, even children, preteens, uh, teenagers, they are perishing because of lack of knowledge. And so here is a book where Lucian has packed the book with relevant uh, information, relevant topics um, uh, founded in the word of God from scriptures to be able to guide your child in the right direction. There are different questions that are actually spread throughout um, the book. I, you know, I really like like 109 just highlighting. Um, is love the same as sex? I read the story of a young boy who asked the mother, will sex be where, uh, be there when I grow up? And, and so many things that children are asking. And sometimes as parents, we are not prepared for those kinds of questions. So we do not know how to answer them um, and explain to our children. So here is a book that can really empower you. You can go through the book with your preteen, with your teen, so that you can be able to, you know, use it as a foundation, uh, as, a, as a conversation starter for you and for your child. Um, important uh, point on page 113, actually 112, 113, Types of abuse in a relationship and Lucian talks about physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, financial abuse, digital abuse. In our time, we have to talk about digital abuse, uh, stalking and so forth. Uh, please get a copy so that you can be able uh, to learn uh, more. And then we get to the end of the book. We have Lucian's uh, bio married uh, to John Waveru Kamuti. Uh, um, lieutenant, uh, retired, uh, Kano, and she's a mother of four children. She's a graduate of Kenyatta University uh, with um, a bachelor's uh, in degree in education and a master's in uh, Christian counseling from NIST. She's a teacher, a counselor, a life coach, a trainer, and a motivational speaker. Earlier on in her career, she quit her teaching job to be a stay-at-home mom to devote more time to her family. It's upon this background uh, backdrop that a season to grow was born. We have the ISBN there. Uh, we have the publisher and she's a member of the Kenya Faith Writers Network. Awesome. So there you have it, um, the review of A Season to Grow by Lucy Ann Waweru. The book is available from kenyaclc.org, africanauthors.net, Jumia Kenya, Nuria Bookshop, um, um, Amazon, um, available from um, African Book Hub, uh, available from the Writers Guild of Kenya, Camilla Bookshop, and any other bookshop near you. Uh, get a copy read with your preteen, read with your teen, be empowered so that you know how to be able to help your child and be able to tackle this. Um, let your child be empowered. Let them be informed. Let, let them be prepared because Lucian has, um, you know, packaged this information to be a blessing to you. Bye.